What's up, everyone? Today is my birthday. Now, the reason I'm filming this so late is because I was doing things all day and I was kind of busy. But overall, I had a good day. In this video, I want to show you guys what I got for my birthday. Let's head right on into it. First off, let's show off the clothes. I got three new gaming shirts. First off is this Sonic the Hedgehog shirt. This is from Hot Topic. As you can see, it says a chili dog a day keeps Dr. Eggman away. Yeah. So, like I said, this shirt is at Hot Topic if you're interested. Cool shirt overall. Next off is this Super Mario shirt. I Overall, this is a very cool shirt. It's got a nice retro look to it. And yeah, that's the Super Mario shirt I got. Very cool. And for the third and final shirt, I got a Mega Man shirt. As you all know, I'm a huge Mega Man fan. I am a big fan of his games. And... All in all, I think this is an awesome shirt. So, yeah... There's the Mega Man shirt that I got. And it says, I'll protect the world, which is pretty cool. Next thing I have to show that I got is this game case. Now, this is not the game's original case. This is a custom made case, but I bought but this is from a seller on Etsy and yeah, as you can see, it is a case for Nights into Dreams on the Sega Saturn. And yeah, I'm overall very impressed with the quality of this it's pretty much an exact re it's almost an exact replica of the original game case and i think it looks pretty real as you can see there's my nights into dreams game disc inside the case and yeah out of all my sega saturn games Nights into Dreams was the only game I did not have a case for. So this will look great right next to all my other Sega Saturn games. Next is a gift that my dad got me yesterday at Midwest Gaming Classic. He got me this... Sonic the Hedgehog artwork that someone was selling. I think these are all fan-made paintings or drawings or fan art or whatever that they then have as a print. And yeah, overall, this is some pretty cool art. And yeah, now I can find somewhere on the wall... 
I should find somewhere on the wall where I'd want to hang this up. But, yeah, it's a pretty cool piece of art overall. Next thing I'm showing you is an accessory for the Sega Genesis. And this is the Konami Justifier gun. Yeah, a lot of consoles back then had guns for light gun games. And yeah, I got this gun in particular for one game. This gun I got because it's compatible with this game right here. Lethal Enforcers. This is a port of the arcade game, and you can play it with the controller, but playing it with the Justifier gun makes the experience so much better. So, yeah, there's the Konami Justifier gun for the Sega Genesis. Next off, I'm going to show you guys two accessories I got for my Sega Saturn. First off, I'm showing you that I got a brand new controller for the Sega Saturn. This is from Retrobit, and yeah, it's an official replica of the original controller that came with the Sega Saturn Model 2. And, um, as you can see, this is the controller right here. It's very shiny and new. And overall, it's a very great controller. Um, yeah, it's a very great controller. To go with your Sega Saturn. Like I said, it's pretty much an exact replica of the original Model 2 Sega Saturn controller. And you probably already know this, but this is the controller that came with the Sega Saturn when it first came out in 1995. And the other thing I got for my Saturn was this, the Sega Saturn all-in-one cartridge. This is from AliExpress, and it actually arrived earlier than I expected it to. But yeah, for Sega Saturn fans, this is an essential item. It plugs right into the cartridge slot of your Sega Saturn, and it has some abilities to it. The biggest, the, the biggest plus to this, I think, is the fact that it has pseudo Saturn on it. That means it allows you to burn your own games onto a CD and then play them on the actual Sega Saturn. This could be like expensive games, ROM hacks, or even homebrew games. Any game that you burn to a CD, if you have a pseudo Saturn cartridge, you can play them on the Saturn. And, um, yeah, it also includes, it, it also includes the extra RAM for games that use it. And it also functions as a memory card, which is a good thing because I would not rely on the Saturn's internal battery to save your games. And of course, like any Sega Saturn cartridge you'd want, it has the ability to play import games. That's a good thing too, because yesterday at Midwest Gaming Classic... I picked up my first import game for the Sega Saturn, and as you can see, I got the Japanese version of Panzer Dragoon, 
So, yeah, very nice and essential item for the Sega Saturn. Next thing I'm showing off is what my brother decided to get me for my birthday. My brother obviously wanted me to get a new video game for my birthday, so he got me Sonic Forces on the Nintendo Switch. As you can see, this was on sale for $19.99 at Best Buy, but, um, yeah... I did play Sonic Forces about three years ago. It was around the, it was like right when COVID started and we rented it from Family Video right before they went out of business. And when we rented the game, we got it on Xbox One. But yeah, we came very close to beating the game, but we eventually had to return it. We rented the game twice, along with the Sega Genesis Classics collection. But, um, yeah. And like I said, we rented both those games for Xbox One. But, yeah. For my birthday, I got Sonic Forces on Nintendo Switch. It'll probably be a while before I replay this game because I still haven't played that much of Sonic Frontiers yet and I still have more of the 3D Sonic games that I want to play. After all, I completed Sonic Adventure 1 and most of Sonic Adventure 2. I kind of quit on Sonic Adventure 2 after deciding that I didn't really like it all that much. But, um, yeah. The next game I'd have to go on in the series in order would be Sonic Heroes. But my goal right now is to play more Sonic Frontiers before I move on to more games in the Sonic series. But yeah, like I said, my brother got me Sonic Forces on Nintendo Switch as a gift. It was a very nice idea. And another good one to the Nintendo Switch collection. And a... The final thing I'm going to show you guys that I got is something little. Someone got me these little Sonic figures from Walmart. As you can see, they're both Sonic. There's one right here, and right here we have a Sonic with a little chili dog. Nice gifts overall. And that concludes the video. That's what I got for my birthday this year. Overall, this was a pretty good birthday. I want to know. Tell me in the comments below. What was your favorite gift that I showed in this video? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like. Leave a comment. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.